Hi, it's Rob. Welcome to the next video in the Amazon Lex playlist where we'll add response cards to our bot. If you followed along in the previous videos in the playlist, you'll recall that our chatbot allows a user to order a burger and perform slot data validation using Lambda. However, as we've seen, all the slot prompts are presented to the user in text only. By adding response cards to our bot, we can present the user with buttons for each selection, which is a more user-friendly interface when interacting with our bot using a mobile device. To get started adding response cards, I'll expand the burger type slot prompt, then click advanced options. Here, I'll scroll down to the slot prompts expand the section, then click the More Prompt Options button. Now I'll click Add, then select Add Card Group. Here I'll add a title and a subtitle. Then add the buttons which will be displayed to the user as well as the values which will be sent in the slot. There's also a field for an image URL of an image which must be an S3 object. So I'll jump over to the image folder in the Burger Buddy Bot bucket and grab the URL for a small version of the robot image I've uploaded. Then paste it in, update the prompts, update the slot, save and build. And now we could test the changes. And we see our response card has been added for the burger size. However, since we haven't implemented any other response cards, the rest of the prompts are still text only. So let's add response cards for the burger franchise and burger type slots now. And this time, let's jump into the browser and give them a test. Here we see the burger type response card, although the image looks a little large, so I may want to fix that later. Then we see the burger franchise card, and finally the burger type card. However, 
Notice, if I select an incorrect burger type for the franchise I selected, I still see the prompt to select the proper burger type in text. Now, to address this issue, we'll jump into VS Code and modify the Lambda function we created in the last video in this playlist. Taking a look at the code in the Lambda handler function, I've modified the code inside of the check to see if the order validation is valid property is not valid. I've added a variable for the response message, which defaults to burger buddy. But if there's a message present in the order validation result, I'll set the value of the response message equal to the message that was returned. Then I have variables for the response card subtitle and response card buttons. I've created subtitles for each of the burger franchises, Best Burger, Burger Palace, and Flaming Burger. And I've also created variables to hold their buttons. So for example, the Best Burger has buttons for plain cheese and bacon burgers. I've also added checks for the burger size, and if the user submits a burger size that's incorrect, I provide response buttons for the proper sizes, and the same for the burger franchises. For burger types, I check to see which franchise was selected, and then set the response card subtitle and buttons equal to the appropriate values. If it's the case that the invalid slot is a burger type, but there's no invalid franchise of Best Burger, Burger Palace, or Flaming Burger. Then I'll set the response card subtitle to please select a burger and provide values for the response card buttons. Finally, in the response, under session state in the messages property, I've modified the message to have a content type of image response card. The value of the content will be the response message which was set above and the image response card property has a title of burger buddy a subtitle to the value that which was set above the image url points to the image that i uploaded to the s3 bucket and the buttons property is equal to the buttons which were set above now i'll go ahead and copy the code then jump over to lambda and replace our existing lambda function code and deploy it then we need to jump back in the Lex and configure the slot prompts to use the Lambda function. And with the prompts updated and saved, we'll save the intent, build, then test. Here, we see our burger size response card, then our franchise card, and finally the card for the burger types. Now, if I select a plain burger, the bot asks if it'd like me to place the order because I selected the best burger franchise. Now let's do a test where I select best burger and chili is the burger type. And here we see our new response card prompting us to select a best burger type of burger. So that concludes this video on integrating response cards in our bot. If you found it useful, feel free to give it a like. And if you'd like to be notified when I add more content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.